my channel. Um, I just wanted to share with you something I bought today. I was at um, the Morphe store and I was like last night watching uh, Jeffree Star reveal his blood loss palette and so I couldn't really help but be tempted when I saw the Morphe store and I bought this gloss. Um, it's quite cool. It has some like blue glitter through it. And have you guys tried this? Um, it's I like it. I think it would be nice as like a topper on other lipstick. And I also bought the uh, Bloodlust palette. Oh, is it called Blood? Yeah, Bloodlust pal palette. Um, and it came in like another paper kind of container. Um, but I didn't really think I needed that, so I've just kept the the case, which is velvet. And I'll show you guys all the colours. They're quite pretty. I was sold by like the wet look kind of colours. Like um, what got me was the wet jewel and pink magic. Uh, which I just tried on my eyes today. Um, I just like got my finger and put it on to be honest. I'm not much of a makeup artist. <laughs> and here it is. What do you think? Did you guys get this palette? I thought it was really pretty, the colours. They kind of spoke to me, so I bought the um, Shane Dawson palette as well. I haven't really used that very much, but I think I'll use this one a lot more. Um, and I also recently bought um, a ColourPop palette because it was like a Sailor Moon collaboration. So yeah, I'll show you guys when um, that comes in the mail as well. But today I was just going to like talk to you guys about my uh, Louis Vuitton bum bag. Uh, here it is. Um, I've had it for about six months um, and I just thought I'd let you know if I liked it or not uh, in case you were thinking of buying it. Um, it's gone a lot darker just from it being like out sitting in my room. I've used it like uh, at least 30 times I'd say over the last maybe more um, and it still looks great um, I had no real issue with it um, I know a lot of people are worried about like the front zip um, kind of rubbing on here um, similar to the issue with the palm springs mini um, but I kind of just make sure when I unzip it here um, that this is up so it doesn't kind of um, chafe here um, and a lot of people say that, oh, but then that might affect the stitching over here, uh, which is, yeah, that's also could be a concern. So, um, what I would suggest is like the more things like say your phone and your like card holder, maybe put them back here instead in this pocket, because this can definitely fit a phone and a card holder. And that, you know, isn't, you're going to have much of an issue. And like more bulky things like, you know, makeup, a camera, you can put in the front here because you're not going to be unzipping it as much. But like, I actually haven't had any issue. It's just like something that crossed my mind in terms of like long-term wear and tear. Um, I've added this little charm to the side, just clinked it on here and here. Um, and it kind of like reminds me of like say the vibe of like a Chanel bum bag with like charms hanging off um, but this charm is quite aged and that's because um I bought it on eBay because I really liked this particular charm but in uh, Louis Vuitton in Melbourne it was around $600 which I thought was like quite a lot um, for a charm and I didn't know if I would love it so I went on eBay and I tried to look for a pre-loved one and this one was about $200 but when it arrived I noticed it was quite tarnished and I was like oh, I don't even know if this is worth $200 to be honest because like if something is like kind of has that weird smell and it's all like gross like do you even want it even for $200 you know but, but then I thought oh I'll use it anyway and I put it on my bag and it's been okay, but I thought, or oh, I heard about this metal polish cream, um, and so I ordered some, and I cleaned it, and now it's actually much better, and it's a lot shinier, so 
with any Louis Vuitton hardware, um, like even with vintage bags, you can use something like this metal polish cream um, and kind of it will improve the, the hardware, I think, quite a lot. We'll just get rid of that weird like green tarnishy stuff. Um, I used it on the zip of my Cherry Speedy as well and on the lock because they were also quite tarnished when I, the um, 2003, I think it was 2003 Cherry Speedy and that helped it a lot as well. So that's something you could consider if you're looking for pre-loved things that are tarnished. Um, you can try it, polish them up a little bit just if you want to save, you know, some money and still get the look. You know, it's sometimes you got to save money. Um, any way you can <laughs> probably yeah um, so I'll show you guys what this looks like on I usually wear it around this point here it has some settings you can make it really small or like up to here and this is what it looks like um, just on my body if I do this um, and sometimes I if I'm not wearing this, or sometimes I wear both, I'll put like a little pom-pom here too. Like that. Um, and this is from Lindy SS website. Um, I follow her on Instagram and on YouTube and I thought her pom-poms were really pretty. So I ordered this one. It's like the rainbow one with the crystal. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think it's pretty? I think it's quite pretty. Um, and it feels quite nice. I've bought quite a few pom-poms from here and I'm quite happy with them. Um, I, I can show you guys my pom-pom collection later if you like. Um, but this is the bum bag. This is how I wear it. Like this, it's a little bit big I probably wouldn't wear it actually like a bum bag I haven't really tried it but it kind of just like I don't know it just doesn't really do much for me I think um, and I kind of find it more comfortable wearing it the other way so yeah there's that option too if you like want to wear it like that but I usually just like to wear it like this is a lot comfier um, and so the pros of this bag is I would say like if you're traveling just having stuff back here means that like you can keep it safe on you and you can kind of just like you're not going to get it stolen um, and also it's been quite an easy carefree bag apart from the Vachetta leather um, like you might be worried it could get raindrops on it and I always kind of carry in the bag like a little um, like foldable plastic bag just in case it starts raining I can just put my bag in here because you could like get quite a lot of raindrops on the 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 handle and like this strap um, and it has darkened quite nicely I think um, but if you were kind of tossing up between this and say the multi pochette I feel like they have a similar kind of like vibe like sporty um, they're kind of you can make them sit high up here as well um, so I thought I'd show you guys what the multi pochette looks like on me too, um, just for a comparison. See what I mean? Like it's kind of like a similar kind of thing, except I guess this is more functional in that you can separate all the pochettes. Um, and the good thing about this one is the zip is at the back, so it is a little bit more um, enclosed if you want to like make sure things are closer to your body whereas this may be able to steal stuff from it if you're traveling um, but yeah this one also it probably doesn't fit as much as the bum bag like it's just a giant compartment and um, I have put a bag organizer in there as well um, I didn't put that in there until recently but that kind of keeps it you can kind of organize it a little bit easier with the pockets um, and I've recently just put a bag organizer in this too to keep the shape. This little kind of from KD Australia. This little one in here. I also sometimes buy organizers from Samorga. They're quite good as well. Before KD Australia, um, I bought them from Samorga. And I feel like they're really nice quality. Um, so that's that one as well. <laughs> yeah. So you can see it's kind of like similar vibe, but 
the good thing about the multi pochette is you can kind of just make them like mini bags whereas the bum bag I feel like is a lot more practical in terms of carrying things um, and this one I feel like it's quite busy as well and the bum bag I think is just more of a retro vibe maybe yeah so what do you think guys do you have the bum bag would you get it do you think these bags are just really trendy and silly i think they're like quite easy to like uh style with um my wardrobe anyway just because they're quite casual um and they're quite fuss free because of the canvas you can kind of just wipe it down if you get like if you spill a little bit of coffee on you it'll literally be fine like i've done it before and you can just wipe it off uh the only concern is the bachetta leather but as I said, it does tan over time, and I think that does in itself kind of make it a little bit more resistant to marks when it does tan. So you just have to be patient for that to kind of like tan up a little bit. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, let me know if you want to like see any other videos of a particular thing. Um, I'm always open to ideas, and I'm quite new.